Okay, I've asked this question by someone I've actually done muscle testing with. He's a very good subject. So Hawkins gives some instructions on muscle testing. The uh, the two people doing the muscle testing most must both be in integrity, and the questions being asked must be from an inte from integrity, and um, and you must also have the capacity or the capability of doing muscle testing. Not everyone has got that skill. Um, so as long as both people are in integrity, the question is in integrity, and um, uh, and the people have got the capacity to do it, then muscle testing is a reliable source. But how do you know? I mean, I guess I guess what came up with the reader's question, like, can can this all go wrong? And I was I was thinking of like Ouija boards and all the dark stuff, you know, tuning into the dark realms, uh, which is kind of similar. Well, yes, of course, um, but that that's true. So when the if both people are not in integrity and the questions are not in integrity and you're trying to get, you're trying to facilitate magical powers uh, which are not based on spiritual integrity, then um, you could end up um, tuning into the darker realms and being taken over by darker entities and having darker entities influence you. So it is a, it is a good question, but how do you know? Well, you know, I mean, it's a bit like I would, uh, if you're asking me, I mean, stick to, um, it, it's like the question of how do you know whether when you join a spiritual group, um, whether it, it, whether or not it's a satanic group or whether it's not, it's an angelic group. How, how would you know if you went to a satanic group by mistake? Well, um, that's not as a uh, thing, because um, a lot of the spiritual groups pretend to be spiritual, but they're actually got uh, bad motives behind them. So it's not as easy as it seems, but um, uh, it's one of those things where if you haven't got enough spiritual sophistication, you can go down the wrong path. You know, you might think that Ouija boards is a good idea or something, uh, as opposed to um, uh, Course in Miracles group. So it's a level of spiritual naivety if you're unable to have the spiritual discernment to be able to tell um, <clears throat> a, a, a group that's doing muscle testing with integrity and someone who's doing the Ouija board to contact uh, demons from, from the Luciferic realms. So if you haven't got that, uh, that level of spiritual sophistication, um, uh, oh yes, I got that, I got that. Um, so um, then you wouldn't be able to do it. Yes, I, I, and also, yes, uh, so there's that. And also there was another aspect to that question as well. Some people think that the Course in Miracles is like satanic or demonic or something, and some spiritual teachers are. Um, I think, you know, my view is, uh, my teacher is Hawkins, and I believe he was a true teacher that never fell from grace, and that his muscle testing, um, with Susan was above integrity. And so uh, when he calibrated the Course in Miracles, that's a legitimate calibration. I've been following Hawkins' um, suggestions and books for uh, I think some 20 years. And uh, I, I vouch for him, for whatever that means to the, anyone who's listened to the, the, this video. Um, a lot of spiritual teachers do fall from grace um, so uh, they may start off being integrous and then they may suddenly fall for temptation. But I do believe that uh, Hawkins um, went to the end of his life as an authentic teacher and that his calibrations are authentically true. Uh, is it possible that someone is making calibrations which are not true? Yes, of course. So, um, so that's what I would say. Uh, in terms of um, people saying the Course in Miracles could be satanic or wrong, um, I would say that it has been calibrated accurately um, and it is of the light, uh, of, of high light, uh, calibrating, um, you know, around the um, enlightened levels or the high heavenly realm, <laughs> realms levels. Um, to those people who say that it's satanic or whatever it is, a lot of a lot of religions do say like if you um, read anything or do anything that's not in their book, 
then it is it's not good and there's some basis in truth in that i mean there's a lot of stuff out there which is not good but it doesn't mean that everything out there is not good um so that's my answer to that even though i do believe these people do believe that uh, but it doesn't mean that um you know that there aren't um <clears throat> outside of the books that um, that you read, there aren't other authentic teachers and books. Even though there are lots of false teachers and false books out there, it doesn't mean there's other true. And, and I would vouch that The Course of Miracles is a book based on truth. But if you don't, uh, if you don't like it, then uh, you just, just choose whatever you want, you know, and um, you, uh, you have your free choice to choose it. So um, I usually think The Course of Miracles students don't really go around batting people in the head um, telling them they have to do the Course in Miracles. So uh, that's my answer on that question.